this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to simulate the effect of a hand-colored photo. Now, typically when you say a hand-colored photo, it means uh, in the old days when you took a black and white photo, if you wanted to make it seem like it was colored, what you could do is just use special dyes and color in certain parts of the photo. Now, nowadays, typically you're going to be taking photos that are in color, but you can still have that effect by um, making your photo black and white and then bringing in some color to uh, to accentuate the photo. So it's a really cool and nice effect. So what we have to do here is just adjustment layer. We're going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and bring the saturation all the way down to a hun minus 100 so that our photo is black and white. So this is our initial starting point. So we have a black and white photo. Now because this is an adjustment layer, if we remove it, we have the color back. What we need to do is just punch through a hole um, for our uh, image, the part of the image that we want to be in color to show through. So first you have to uh, decide what it is that you want to bring through uh, as, as, uh, as colored. And what I want to do is just bring here this, uh, this portion of the flower here into color. So what I have to do here is um, punch a hole through. Now we can paint uh, with black, right? If we use black, then we're punching a hole through and bringing that in. Now, because this is an easily defined uh, image, right? The the area that I want here, the the flower, is actually quite easy to select. What I'm going to do here is uh, use a selection tool here that is available for me in Photoshop CS3. If you don't have one, you can use. Uh, if you don't have quick selection, you can use, for example, the magnetic lasso tool. That will probably work really well. But this tool here, the quick selection tool, is one of the uh, quickest ones here. All we do is just click and drag around, and we have our selection, essentially. Once we have that selected, uh, we just need to be inside of our, uh, in, in the layer of our hue saturation and on the mask. And then we just fill that in with black, which if you have black and white, it would be alt and backspace. So you have alt and backspace if you are black on white which would fill that in and let me just deselect here and here we have our full color and here we have a black and white color right with the, just that that one petal showing through now the one thing about hand colored photos is technically te usually they're not going to be as vibrant as an original color photo so we want to bring down that down a bit now because we are on the hue and saturation layer we can actually bring down the opacity right but if we're bringing down the opacity, then what happens is our whole photo starts getting uh, too colored, I find, right? So what we can do is bring back to 100%. And now what we can do is just add another hue saturation layer, bring the saturation down to 100%. So we have another one that makes everything black and white. Now what we can do is bring that opacity down. So using your number pad key, uh, you can press 9 for 90%, 8 for 80%, and so forth. And you want to just look at how much of the color you want to bring back, right? So, for example, I want to put this at 20%. So, we want to just mute the color just a bit. So, we're removing 20% of that color, right? But what I also want to do here is just bring back some of the de detail here as well. I want just a hint of color in the background. Now, what we can do there is just go to our first hue saturation layer, the first one, and bring that opacity down just a smidge. Now, let me just show you if we just bring it down entirely here. Then we have a full color photo, right? So if we keep on increasing the opacity, then you start seeing that you're fading it away. You want to keep it so that you're not on pure black and white. This is pure black and white at 100%. You want to bring it down, for example, at 80 or 90%. Let me put it at 80 here. Now we can compare the before and the after. And there you go. That's a pretty nice effect, the hand-colored effect. Just a smidge of detail here on the color and quite a substantial amount, but not unrealistic amount of color there. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.